In the early hours of this morning, the soul of Amatul Baha Ruhiya Khanum, beloved consort of Shoghi Effendi, and the Baha'i world's last remaining link with the family of Abdul Baha, was released from the limitations of this earthly existence. In the midst of our grief, we are sustained by our confidence that she has been gathered to the glory of the concourse on high in the presence of the Abha beauty. For all whose hearts she touched so deeply, the sorrow that this irreparable loss brings will in God's good time be assuaged in awareness of the joy that is hers through her reunion with the guardian and with the master who had himself prayed in the most holy shrine that her parents be blessed with a child. Down the centuries to come, the followers of Baha'u'llah will contemplate with wonder and gratitude the quality of the services, ardent, indomitable, resourceful, that she brought to the protection of the cause. In her youth, Amatul Baha had already distinguished herself through her activities in North America and later both with her dear mother and on her own she had rendered valuable service to the cause in Europe. Her 20 years of intimate association with Shoghi Effendi evoked from his pen such accolades as my helpmate, my shield, my tireless collaborator in the arduous tasks I shoulder. To these tributes, he added in 1952, his decision to elevate her to the rank of Hand of the Cause of God after the death of her illustrious father. The devastating shock of the beloved guardian's passing steeled her resolve to lend her share with the other hands of the cause to the triumph of the Ten-Year Crusade and subsequently to undertake with characteristic intrepidity her historic worldwide travels. A life so noble in its provenance, so crucial to the preservation of the faith's integrity, and so rich in its dedicated, uninterrupted and selfless service moves us to call for befitting commemorations by Baha'i communities on both national and local levels, as well as for special gatherings in her memory in all houses of worship. With yearning hearts, we supplicate at the holy threshold for infinite heavenly bounties to surround her soul as she assumes her rightful and well-earned position among the exalted company in the Apar Kingdom. Justo na juste va na juyam va begeira sabile mahabatant rohi na peimude va na puyam در شبان تیره ناامیدی دیدم به صبح امید التاف بی نهایتت روشن و باز و در سهرگاهی این جهان و دل پش مرده به یاد جمال و کمالت خورم و دمساز هر قطره ای که به واطف رحمانیتت موفق بحری است بی کران 
و هر ذره ای که به پرتو به انوار انایتت معید Praise be to thee, O my God, that thou hast revealed thy favors and thy bounties. And glory be to thee, O my beloved, that thou hast manifested the day star of thy loving kindness and thy tender mercies. I yield thee such thanks as can direct the steps of the wayward towards the splendors of the morning light of thy guidance and enable those who yearn towards thee to attain the seat of the revelation of the effulgence of thy beauty. I yield thee such thanks as can cause the sick to draw nigh unto the waters of thy healing and can help those who are far from thee to approach the living fountain of thy presence. By the righteousness of God, it shall attain a station such as no pen can depict or tongue describe. The soul that hath remained faithful to the cause of God and stood unwaveringly firm in his path shall, after his ascension, be possessed of such power that all the worlds which the Almighty hath created can benefit through him. Such a soul provideth at the bidding of the ideal king and divine educator, the pure leaven that leaveneth the world of being, and furnisheth the power through which the arts and wonders of the world are made manifest. Consider how meal needeth leaven to be leavened with. Those souls that are the symbols of detachment are the leaven of the world. Meditate on this and be of the thankful. وتدخلها في جوار رحمتك الكبرى التي سبقت الأرز والسماء لا إله إلا أنت الغفور الله أبها إنه كل لله أو بدون 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 إنه كل إنه كل لله أو بدون إنه كل لله أو بدون
from the sweet scented sleeves of my eternity. Give me to drink, O oh my God, and of the fruits of the tree of thy being, enable me to taste, O oh my God. From the crystal springs of thy love, suffer me to quaff, O oh my glory, and beneath the shadow of thine everlasting providence, let me abide, O oh my light. Within the meadows of thy nearness, before thy presence, make me able to roam, O my beloved. Suffer me to hearken, O resplendent one, and through the spirit of thy power and thy might, quicken me, O my provider. In the name of thy Lord, the Creator, the Sovereign, the All-Sufficing, the Most Exalted, He whose help is implored by all men. men. Say, O oh my God, O Thou who art the Maker of the heavens and of the earth, O Lord of the Kingdom, Thou well knowest the secrets of my heart, while Thy being is inscrutable to all save Thyself. Thou seest whatsoever is of me, while no one else can do this save Thee. Vouchsafe unto me through thy grace. Oh, 